Today, folks, I'm going to do a video for you on Windows Vista, unfortunately. Um, as much as I hate to, um, you know, and uh, say that anyone should continue using Vista, um, I do feel for some people out there who do still have it and have been unable to get the Cricut plug-in to work uh, that they released this past week on 7.15. Uh, Cricut has officially ended support for uh, Vista, so the, it doesn't meet the minimum system requirements. Um, I did ask Cricut if someone calls with Windows Vista, will they still try to help them? And they said they would, uh, so that's as of the date of this recording. Today's uh, July 19, 2015. And they said that it should still work on Vista as long as nothing's um, uh, causing problems with the system. Unfortunately, Windows Vista was just I've said it many times, one of the worst things Microsoft ever released, and it should have never been put out there in the market. If you are considering buying a new computer, um, it, it, I would really consider it if you're on Windows Vista. Because one, that means your computer's seven or eight years old anyway. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit different from most IT people. I my laptop's five years old. For five years old, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get another year out of it. Just did some upgrades to it to try to to stretch it out a little bit. Uh, most IT people are real hardcore, and they say, "Hey, after three or four years, you got to replace it or whatever." And depending on what the hardware is, I don't really feel that way. Um, in fact, there's probably a lot of uh, machines that had, came with Windows Vista on them that probably have adequate hardware to upgrade to Windows 10 as well. So you might want to investigate your hardware a little bit and see, uh, you know, when it comes out, if you're gonna, you can pay the hundred bucks or whatever it is to upgrade, you might want to think about that and get away from Vista. But um, I'll flip over to the computer here and show you the little trick to get the latest plug-in to install in Vista. There is a little trick to it. So uh, we'll get that done for you and hopefully this will help you out a little bit. So the new plug-in that was released on 7.15 um, will uh, possibly give you some problems in Windows Vista and that's because Vista blocks executable files by default so if you have downloaded it and tried to run it it may not launch for you and I'm going to show you how to get around that so click on your start button and go to computer and you want to get to your downloads folder so the easiest way to get there is to go to your C drive and go to users and then you'll find your username I'm logged into this system as admin and then I'll find downloads and I'll find the Cricut Design Space file that I downloaded and like I said if I double click on it you'll see that it will not launch it just appears to not do anything so what we have to do is right click on the file and click on properties and then click on unblock and we hit OK and now we should be able to double click on the file and install it as normal And once the Cricut Bridge software is installed, you should see the Cricut Bridge icon running in your system tray down below. And if you get this prompt for Windows Firewall or any third-party firewalls that uh, the Cricut is requesting to be unblocked, you will need to unblock it and allow it, allow it to communicate uh, with the Cricut Design Space. And with Windows Vista, you may have to confirm your choice as well. We'll sign into Design Space. And we should be able to use Design Space as normal at this point. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.